Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, this is the Reluctant Navi back again. My news and views, my views on some of the news out there. And uh, this is going to be a follow up on the slap heard around the world. Um, a slap that deserved to be made, <laughs> you know. Um, and uh, so, first, let me say, Oi to the Bang, Vasas Los, Bonjour, Amazing Me. Kedu, Bawani, uh, Konnichiwa, Nihao Nihama, uh, Sani Bonani, Jambo Habai Gani. All right. Um, oh, Vasas Lowe's, Vigates is All right. Anyway, so this is the black woman slapped on the train. All right. She pleads guilty. All right. Now, I'm saying her actions will still be defended by black women and simps. All right. Her actions, what she did first, will still be defended by black women and simps. Um, so basically, the woman, is, um, the woman was charged with a felony assault for stabbing a man with her stiletto, six inch stiletto shoes on the subway for wearing an ugly eight ball jacket. All right. Uh, it took place in Manhattan court on Thursday. All right. Danae Howard, that's the woman's name, 21, cop to assault in the second degree and assault in the third degree uh, for a wild brawl captured on cell phone video that broke out um, on a F train. I'm going to change the lettering so y'all can read this. I have it in blue right now. It's hard to see. All right. In Green, uh, Greenwich Village on November 8, 2014. It is alleged that um, you struck the... All right. This is the judge speaking. It is alleged that you struck the um, complaining witness in the head with a stiletto boot, causing that person to sustain lacerations, bleeding, substantial pain. Um, are those charges true? As Justice Larry Stevens in Manhattan Supreme Court. Yes, she answered. All right, so basically, she is pleading out. All right, so this woman gets to plea out. But I want you to understand a couple of things as we go through this. And I'm, uh, I'm going to show you a couple of clips to remind you of what happened to the man as she pleads out, all right, um, and then we're going to look at what she actually got, all right. Remember, she is clearly the aggressor, first with her mouth, like most black women, and like she learned from her single black mother, and like the report that she get from all the rest of the black women, you will see that black women decided to jump in when this black woman was clearly in the wrong. But it's like the same old black women that come to my channel trying to defend evil when you can't defend what is clearly wrong. But you can't tell a black woman that or her simp. All right. The dudes that's coming on here shouting, well, the black woman is still the black queen. All right. We don't need um, weak minded, jacked up, stupid ignorant black men like that in our community all right anytime a, a man has a woman yank off his gonads to where he gives her the lead over his life as evil as these winches have been all right and just in case you forgot i'm gonna put those statistics up too or maybe that's overkill. Well, I'm thinking about that right now. But anyway, while I think about that, y'all pay attention to this video. Now, pay attention to the treatment of the man who was clearly assaulted. All right. Pay attention to the man that was clearly assaulted. I showed you what happened in the last video, what happened to a black man that's assaulted by a black woman. And what happened to him? 
he ended up in jail at risk of losing his job even though he never did nothing back to her she hit him with a metal pole went lied on him and right now i'm trying to follow up to see if that woman ever served time for perjury for lying for bearing false witness against a black man but black women get to do that all right but check check out a lot of this and remember pay attention to the treatment of the man um then to the black woman that started it all it is a subway brawl where a man is berated and attacked by several women. The fight all over his jacket. Well, tonight, he regrets losing his temper. PIX 11's Andrew Ramos spoke to the man who police say was acting in self-defense. He is live in the studio with more on what he had to say. Andrew. Good evening, guys. Now, the Manhattan District Attorney has indeed dropped the charges against Jorge Peña for his part in that now viral subway fight. The man known online as 8-Ball Jacket Guy was cleared after officials saw the YouTube video that we all saw where he slapped his attacker after he was struck himself. Jorge now says he's sorry, but had no choice. Just watch your stuff. Sporting the 8-Ball Jacket that has gained him notoriety on the street and online, Jorge Peña faced reporters to tell his side of the story on the subway brawl that has thrusted him in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. I cannot go on the train anymore. I love my jacket. I cannot wear this jacket anymore. The Bronx man broke down in tears, explaining all he wanted to do was go home early Saturday to his girlfriend and child when he crossed paths with rowdy subway riders who relentlessly bullied him on the F train, calling him out for his attire, then striking him with the heel of a stiletto. I don't have no choice. She don't let me no choice. I have to do what I, what I did. You know, I'm trying to defend myself. I'm afraid that she bumped my eye, she make me blind or something. The six foot six Pena admitted he had never slapped anyone before, acknowledging his size and his strength. You know, I have big hands. I'm afraid to if I slap or hit anybody. No, I'm not a man of problems. It makes me feel bad. You understand how the girls are gonna, are gonna look me on the street? Like, yeah, this is the man. This is the man who has loved the girl. The 25-year-old who suffered lacerations to his face and head spent four nights behind bars. His attackers, who have been identified as 21-year-old Danae Howard and 20-year-old Shani Campbell, were among those also arrested in the melee. Pena was eventually released and cleared of all charges, something his attorneys are crediting to the now infamous video. I think if there wasn't a video in this case, Mr. Pena would have went to court for probably a year before something substantial happened, whether that was a dismissal or a trial. Peña, a native of the Dominican Republic who came to the United States as a pro baseball prospect for the Oakland A's, says he never wanted this type of attention. I work hard for my family. I take care of my family. I just want to be a regular person. Now, an investigation is now underway as to why Pena spent four nights in jail being held on a misdemeanor charge, while his aggressor, Danae Howard, who struck him with a six-inch heel stiletto, was charged with a felony, yet she was released before a judge. Guys, back to you. Now, this is what this black woman gets. The one that started it all. The one that nearly hits the dude in a temple with a stiletto and could have killed him. Right? This is what this... Um, almost killer wannabe gets right if she completes one year of therapy three days of community service and stays out of trouble she'll be allowed to replea to a misdemeanor pro a prosecutor said Howard and a group of her girlfriends were allegedly taunting um, Jorge Pena for wearing a, the unfashionable leather coat you got a whack eight ball jacket that came out of the 1990s Howard yelled at Pena all right he's only 25 get your money game up all right she's telling him to get his money game up right but she got stiletto clear stilettos what kind of woman ha um walks around with clear stilettos yeah you got it strippers so her money game ain't up because she has to strip now i don't know a rich black stripper um female stripper anywhere 
I know that a lot of money passed their hands, but that's exactly what they do. It passed their hands. They spend it on surgeries, um, stripper clothes, which is way overpriced, probably. But because they don't put out, spend all that money on it, and because they don't look at value, they look at um, cost. You could take a piece of junk um, and sell it to a black woman for maybe hundred times the value of that piece of junk and she'll buy it because it costs a lot all right now Howard's pal Shanika Campbell um, whacked him over the head with her purse um, then she pulled off the stiletto boot and hit him in the head now he turned around smacked her in the head or face I, it sounded like a face smack slap um, but you'll see that in a minute. All right. Now, the district attorney was smart enough to see self-defense in action. When you watch the whole video, they couldn't hide this mess to let this black female off scot-free. She just got off almost scot-free. All right. If it wasn't for four million people viewing it and seeing how nasty and ill-behaved black women are on a train and how she is a representative of black women and she do represent black women she don't represent sisters but she definitely represent black women is because the people that come to the defense oh we all must get along the white man trying to separate us that's bull no one has separated the black man from the family better than a black woman has the black woman by herself destroyed black men, black manhood, and separated him from her and the family. So all you black women coming to my channel with that BS talking about it's the Willie Lynch letters. No, it isn't. It's your evil black woman who wanted welfare, who wanted the government, who wanted the man's money, but wanted to, wanted to be the head over the man, who then subsequently stripped her children, her male children of their manhood, who always tried to keep their um, their boy in their place so that he will always worship her. And so that's these ignorant Negroes coming up. Oh, the black queen, the black queen. One, you mean the black demon, the black devil. All right. She's been more demonic to the black family than a white man ever was. The black woman, I will repeat, has more been more demonic to the black family than a white man ever was. Now, the white man is the devil in that he presents an offer, like the serpent in the, in the, um, in the garden. He said, if you take my evil, I will make you head over your family. Right? But the Most High said that the man shall rule over the woman. That's what the Most High said. But the black woman, wanting to be queen, wanting to be a god, said to the Most High, F you. I'm going to take the deal given to me from the devil. So, yes, I want welfare. Yes, I want feminism. Yes, I will destroy every male that grows up in my home in order to maintain that power over men. I will use your laws and the fact that I will be the only one in the ear of children to make sure that no black male leader ever comes out of my home. That's why Barack Obama is president. He wasn't born in a black woman's home, a single black mother. It was a single white mother. And they cultivated that dude to be president. That's why he don't do crap for black people. All right, because he was cultivated by white people. That's why it's hard for black people to come out of the mess. It's because most black people were cultivated by this loud mouth, evil, devilish black woman. All right. Now, brothers, and I'm talking to you, brothers. Do you ever remember hearing this statement? I hear it from a lot of black women. I don't care how old he gets or how much of a man he gets or how, how big he gets. He will always be my baby. Think about it. A black mother will never let her son be a man. He will always be her baby. 
You see what I'm saying? When a black man gets into manhood in 16, 17, he's no longer a baby. He's no longer the woman's baby. He's a man now, and he starts taking charge over that house because he has come into manhood. No woman is ever supposed to lead no man. Period. All right? Now, in case y'all missed it, um, we're going to go over what really happened. Now, I want you to pay attention to a couple of things. Now, she messing with him over a jacket. Now, pay attention to the two skanks that got her back. Now, that's the simp that said, damn. Like she really said something. Now, what she doesn't know is the reason why he's in the United States because he is an Oakland A prospect. Look how violent she is. Look how violent these black women are. Remember, they was raised by the single black mother. And there it is. All right, now, look at how the, uh, the other two get in it, right? All right. Right. Look at how the now look at how the other women attack the other big black dude, right? All right, the men ain't having it. Those men ain't having it. Now they gonna cry and everything, but they hit a man first. Right? Them women didn't think to hit a man. Those black women did not think twice to hit a man. Where did they learn this from? Their mothers. Because their mothers taught them that men weren't SH. Why? Because their mothers picked non-SH women. Now, I would like to repeat the reason why that man from the Dominican Republic is in the United States because his money was getting straight. He was an Oakland A's prospect. That's professional baseball. She's not even a professional stripper. She's just a rinky-dink stripper. All right? So this rinky-dink stripper, not knowing anything, all right, gets on a man because he wears a jacket that he likes. Somebody probably gave him that jacket. A loved one probably gave him that jacket right but all these women came up oh he you shouldn't hit a woman you shouldn't hit a woman all three of them girls needed to get their behinds beat into the floor maybe because you don't hit a man and then expect not to get hit back all right I mean, really, that's the question. Did they deserve what they got? They hit the man first. They hit him with a stiletto. It caused damage. It could have killed him because of where she hit him. And she hit him with the pointy end of it. Right? Now, keep in mind also. Keep in mind also that this woman was charged with a felony and went straight home. This man was accosted. He was attacked first, and they had him in jail for four, um, four days. So the man that got attacked by the black woman goes into jail for four days, and the woman that did the attacking, that instigated, that slapped him, then hit him with a shoe before he actually struck back, right? The woman that's been, uh, and this thing went on longer than that on this train. This woman was just messing with this dude from the time she saw the jacket. And she got to go home 
But the man, he ended up in jail for four days before they released him. Is that justice for men in the United States? There is none for men in the United States. So men, we have to uh, um, get back justice by any means necessary. All right. The black woman, as I said before, they're not our friends. A sister is, but these black women, I had one black woman coming to my channel. Oh, we need to get along. It's, the white man is separated. No, black women did that. Black women decide to screw only 30% of the population, which produce more children than the rest of the 70%. That's like black women. They say white women wear weave too, but um, black women are 13% of the population, but they buy 70% of the weave. So white women ain't doing it too. All right, white and um, black women, 13% of the population. Y'all seen the, um, the graphs on my last video. They're 13% of the population, but, but they are 64 to 65% of the new HIV infections. Why isn't the man, the black heterosexual man rising? Because the black woman is um, only messing with a third of the black men. Twice as many black women have children than black men. The net worth of the black woman is $5. Black women have been raising their children to hate black men since white men gave them charge over the family. And he didn't give them charge. He just gave them a choice. The white man never put a gun up to the black woman's head and say, um, you need to get rid of your man. He said, I will give you welfare. I will give you part of his check. And all you got to do is raise up your children to be devilish and disrespect leadership from a black man. All right. It wasn't the Willie Lynch. It's not the Willie Lynch letters that's doing this in. It's not the white man that's doing this in. White men gave black women a choice and they chose to unite with the black men. I mean, to they chose to unite with the white man system in order to destroy the black family. So they could usurp the commandment of the Most High when he said a man shall rule over the woman. All right. Because that she's always been wanting to be worshipped as God. And so now she got these ignorant simps that come to our to my channel. Oh, and the simp argument is done. All right. We've cleared that up. All right. Um, Tommy Sotomayor came up with the acronym somewhat idolizing mediocre poo nanny. But Too Short and some guys from the 70s came up with the term simp, which is short for simpleton. All right. So all you ignorant dudes that's coming on here and not watching the whole video, only hearing one line and say, oh, he on Tommy's jock. Um, and I know he's there for the other dude. Uh, apparently, um, he put out hidden colors. I don't have respect for that dude because of the people that come to my channel who don't have respect for another black man any of these little simp raised by these single mothers worshiping um ignorant buffoons that come on my channel talking about another man being crispy i don't care what your logic is for saying it all right i'm gonna just delete you you're not worthy to be a black man you might as well be a white kkk man all right Tariq nasheed his fans I have no respect for that man for bringing that stuff up for having a puppet. A crispy puppet. All right. That's not black man ish. You can't speak to black issues. If you're going to down a black man, you disagree with by putting up a puppet. Me, I just delete you. If I disagree with you as a black man, are you talking all kind of BS? I'm going to just delete you. I ain't going to go out there and, um, and make puppets and stuff like that and call you names that white people call you think about that to the brothers that subscribe to my channel brothers that is not our way so these dudes come up here and say some stupid stuff yeah keep the dialogue um cuss them out maybe and stuff like that 
but we don't make videos putting um, derogatory marks about the um, the appearance of blackness. I don't even do it with black women. All right, when they put fake silicone, I'm gonna call it out. Fake breasts, I'm gonna call it out. That fake hair, I'm gonna call it out. But not once have you ever um, heard me talk about their skin, unless they put tattoos on it and ruin their skin. All right. We don't talk about other black people like that. We tell the truth for what it is. Yes, are they evil? Yes, black women are evil. Evil is all get out. Part of the evil that they do is they are nice looking enough to get us to um, to desire to screw them. And then they screw us for screwing them through the white man system. That's the whole problem. All right. But what we don't do, all right, brothers, brothers. And some of you um, sisters on here, we do not talk about other black people's skin complexion. We do not call them crispy or anything like that. We may call them simps or if they acting like a whore, call them a whore. All right. If the dudes acting stupid, call them a simp. All right. But we don't we don't um, we don't get into bashing somebody. Um, complexion, um, calling them ashy and stuff. Where we, that's a single mother stuff. That's stuff single mothers taught us to do. We need to get rid of that. Proverbs 3 and 23. For the commandment is a lamp and the Torah a light and reproofs of discipline a way of life. All right. To guard you against evil women. The commandments guard us against evil women. That's why I call them evil. Call them devils. Call them demons. All right. From the flattering tongue of a strange woman, do not desire her prettiness in your heart. Neither her, ca uh, neither let her captivate you with her eyelids. All these women going around with these fake eyelashes. For because of a whore, one is brought to a crust of bread. That's what's happening with black men. It's the black woman. They become a whore for the white man. Whose purpose is to destroy us through the black woman. And the black woman willingly is allowing it. And an adulterous hunts a precious life. Proverbs 9 and 13. A foolish woman is loud, like those women on the train. Simple without knowledge that's most of these women that's coming to my channel i'm um, trying to um shout down trying to um defend the evil that the black women are doing for she has seated herself at the door of her house on a seat by the highest places of the city to call those who pass who go straight on their way who is simple let him turn here and as for him who lacks heart she says to him Stolen waters are sweet. These are these dudes that these black women can call to go shoot up a bus like I showed you in a video. These are these dudes that black women could call to get to go to other men's channel and say the black woman is queen, my queen, my queen. I don't need, I don't need weak-minded men like that um, in anything I'm trying to build or on my channel. They're not even part of the discussion. Automatically delete it. If you come on here, the black woman is your queen, then you've gotten your queen, and the most high is not with you. You're a demon. You follow a demon, so you're a demon. Or a demon follower. That's worse. Alright? And bread eaten in secret is pleasant. But he does not know that the dead are there. Her guests are in the depths of the grave. That's the modern day black woman. Brothers, final thoughts. You got to remember, there are three adversaries of good Afro men. One is the system that has been set up to just prevent us from prospering and, quite frankly, do away with us when we're past their usefulness. The BAW and the SIMP. But the worst of these is the BAW, because we could survive the system by not engaging in it. We can survive the simp by separating from them. But most of us, you know, we look to 
the BAWF, wives, wives, girlfriends, and all of that. So they get closer to us than anyone. But they've been doing us the most damage. We must be able to defend ourselves against a, a woman that willfully will be violent towards us. And expect no repercussion. Who the system that is also against good men will just give her a slap on the wrist so long as she's doing her job and destroying the community. With that said, I'm out.